How's it going lads and ladies, my name is Josh and today we are back for a little bit more Pokemon Sun and Moon news. Now I know you guys didn't see my reaction to the trailer last week um, with the Ultra Beasts and the, the, the Type Null and all that kind of thing. But that is probably going to be coming out at the same time as this. I do apologise the last couple of days, specifically over the weekend. Um, I've been working on a new project outside of YouTube. Um, it's not just me obviously working on it. I'm I basically just got involved in something um, that uh, has needed to be. I've needed to take some time to get get more involved in it because basically what it is is just me um, doing what I've wanted to do for a very long time with journalism, writing articles. Um, but I will let you guys know more detail about that when um, the time comes. But for now, we have some more Koro Koro leaks to look through. Um, the last time we had some Koro Koro leaks was probably this time last month, I'm guessing. But um, we finally have Rockruff's evolutions. Now, I think this kind of um, negates the whole <clears throat> the whole thing about where we, we were going to say that they would have um, different evolutions depending on um, the island. It looks like it's just going to have a day and night um, evolution tree kind of thing at the moment, which makes a lot more sense it's not quite as cool as what we had imagined it to be but you know it's still incredible it's still re i suppose revolutionary in this sense but um first images from koro koro have leaked and i've revealed the latest sun news on sun and moon as always do not translate uh as always do note that translations are preliminary while we work on them of course the name of the pokemon rough rough evolves into is lugarugan lugarugan I'm guessing that's going to be the Japanese name, it's not actually the English name yet. Um, and it has a different appearance based on its if it evolves in day or night, obviously sun or moon. It makes a bit of sense, and I think that's probably going to be the speculation about the starters now, that the um, the final starters are going to have different evolutions, whether or not you evolve them in the day or night. So I suppose that's still just as cool, because we'd have two final evolutions for, um, for each of the starters, which would, like I said, be very cool. Um, it notes that Rockruff becomes the midday form when bathed in the rays of sun, and when full on, um, and when full of the night's power, it becomes the midnight form. Okay, so this is another thing as well that people have been speculating is that they're not actually two separate evolutions, and it's just a form um, that, diff that differs basically, and uh, um, depending on whether or not you're fighting in the day or the night, then um, the form will change basically. I'm not sure if I'm a massive fan of that. I mean, it's still a very cool concept, but at the same time. Um, I prefer it to be two completely different Pokemon because of this, because then you know we take we can have different typings at that point, um, and it'll be easier if it's going to be a competitive Pokemon. It'll be easier for um, be easier for us to gen Pokemon and be easier of, easier for us to breed for the Pokemon we want because if it changes types um, every time you know every time the the moon or the sun is in the sky, then it's just a bit of an impractical Pokemon, especially if you're looking for stab moves and you know say. Um, fairy was stab for the um, for the day form if you had um, a fairy move like say you had play rough on, on um, rock rough's evolution and then all of a sudden it changed to a different form and it wasn't a fairy type anymore which means you wouldn't get the fairy stab from um, from play rough if that makes sense so i feel like it's a very eh, wishy-washy at this moment but whatever in it we'll get, we'll get, um, get on with it no types or further details have been given so we still don't know types and stuff but we can see that they are two very different forms. If this wants to load, there we go. We've got two completely different forms. I mean, that's very good. Um, very good quality for the uh, for the Koro Koro leaks. That's pretty decent. Um, that one looks pretty pretty evil. I do like the look of that one. I do like the, the look of the other one though. I do think this one's my um, probably my favourite. And most likely going to be the one that I get having. Pokemon Sun, so it's nice. It's nice. And then we have some more information down there on um, Gumshoes and um, Alone Eradicate. But other than that, we have some more um, Ultra Beasts. Now, I did say in the other video, if you haven't watched it yet, make sure you go and watch that because then you'll understand what we're trying to, what I'm trying to say. But um, a couple of people have mentioned already that they think this thing over here is um, that chick. I've forgotten her name again. She's so random, I just can't remember. Um, I'll put, try and put a p picture up over here at some point, maybe, possibly. Um, but we've already seen this one, UB, um, UB2. I'm guessing this is UB... Wait, is this UB2? Or is this UB1? 
or is this UB3? I can't remember. But we have, um, has it got more on them? Yeah. So we have UB2 expansion, which is this big guy, this massive guy here, um, which is kind of crazy. It looks like he has a long ass nose. Um, and we have UB2 beauty. Now a lot of people have been saying, oh no, yeah, that's UB1. A lot of people have been speculating that this thing over here, UB2 beauty, um, is basically is is basically confirmed to be honest because it's, it's got exactly the same pose as one of the um, the admins for the Eighth Foundation. So I think it's pretty much been confirmed. They've given us enough clues to it that possibly will we be seeing some Pokemon slash human hybrid gene splicing stuff in this? I mean, we kind of had it in Gen Five with obviously um, the gene splicer that you could you could um, fuse. Uh, Kiram and Zekrom or Reshiram. Um, we might have a similar kind of thing except with humans this time. I still stand by the fact that these aren't actually going to be Pokemon, not things that you can actually catch because obviously I think they're people. So, actually, I mean, they are technically people because the people turn into these things. I think that's the, um, the whole idea behind it. But um, other than that, what do we have? Um, I'm guessing that's from the last time, is it? No, that's still here. Um, I think this is this is um, talking about there's um, hidden power for type null, and I think that's is that what it says? Is that the exact wording, by the way? Um, two Ultra Beasts called UB2 and UB2 Be UB2 Beauty and UB2 Expansion in the scanner shows were appearing in Sun, facing off against Tapu Koko and UB2 Beauty facing off against Tapu Koko and Pokemon Moon. I'm gonna have a, a, I'm gonna hazard a guess right now. And say that Pokemon Sun and Moon have two completely different storylines in the fact that one of the teams will be evil in one, almost similar to Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, where um, in Pokemon Ruby you'd be facing off against Team Magma, but um, Team Aqua would be fighting with you. But um, in in Sapphire you'd be fighting against Team Aqua with Team Magma fighting um, fighting with you. So I'm gonna assume there's similar similar kind of thing in this, where in Pokemon Sun, say you'll be um, you'll be fighting with the Aether Foundation against um, Team Skull, and then in Pokemon Moon you'll be fighting with Team Skull against the Aether Foundation, so it'll be something similar to that. I'm going to just throw that out there and hazard a guess. I don't actually think it's going to happen because I think there's still too too much difference between um, the Aether Foundation and the Aether Foundation and Team Skull, but the idea is out there now. Go do, do, what the, do, what, do with it what you will. Anyway. Um, it also says that UB1's name is a mystery, but it have, may have a deep meaning. Okay, it also reveals that it will show the true strength of the new Pokemon type knowledge during its next issue. We'll bring more as it comes. So, uh, obviously, if you guys watched my video again, the most recent one that I didn't actually upload until today, um, then you'll see, obviously, we were talking about type knowledge, this thing around this neck, looking a bit like the ring around Arceus, and um, maybe that plays into it somehow. But I think that's it actually. Oh, and then we have obviously the um, Pokemon anime. I'm not really, I don't really watch the anime that much anymore. But um, I mean, I have watched a couple of um, probably like the first eight or nine episodes of um, X and Y. But I'm not really a massive, massive fan. But I suppose for people who like the anime, this is some good news. Some um, people who, who you know watch it religiously, this is good news. Um, Obviously, Ash doing his little, the what's it called, the stupid pose for the um, Z move. But I think that's other than that, that's really it, isn't it? I think. Yeah, I'm assuming we're going to be getting a um, trailer at some point in the next couple of days. Probably, I think someone said the 14th is now the 12th. So oof, breaking the fourth wall there. But um, that's probably. When well, I'm assuming that's when we're going to get some more news, and there's probably going to be a new trailer coming out. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to have Rockcroft's evolutions in it, but it's also going to have the starter evolutions in it, which is what we've been waiting for for the past couple of months. Um, but other than that, I don't really, really think there's much more to talk about. If you guys are massively hyped now for Pokemon Sun and Moon, as always, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, we'll probably be back with another one of these videos when a new trailer is released on the 14th, like they said they would. Um, but, I'm going to be up out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.